Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am going to give you the overview for Bliss Pop ROM. Now this ROM is based on Cyanogen Mod 12. So let's check it out. Firstly I am going to go into the about phone setting. So there is a Bliss Pop logo and you can see the Android version provided by this ROM is 5.0.2 and I am running the latest build of Bliss Pop version that is 1.8 that is released on 19th of Jan 2015 and the kernel version is the same that is provided by the Cyanogen mod now talking about customization this ROM has great customization I have never seen such customization in any other ROM so let's check it out the customization can be found under the tab called personalization the first one is the home you can choose different launcher as you want I have two launchers so I have selected launcher 3 it is CM based launcher the next is interface there are tons of options inside the interface settings the first one is status bar you can enable the clock and date if you want and you can change the color of the clock and date you can change the font of the clock and date you can enable the second clock i have enabled the second clock so you can see the second clock ticking on my status bar then you can change the alignment of the uh, clock it is center or right then uh, you can change the font of ampm or make it disable you can enable the date and change the font of date you can change the date format also from this option the next customization is battery status you can change the indicator of battery that is circle, icon, portrait, icon, landscape, text or hidden you can change the percentage text position to the inside the icon, next to icon or keep it hidden then you can also change the charging animation speed to slow, fast and normal or make it disable also the cool customer option that is the customize the circle if you select the indicator as circle then you can make it dotted also and you can change the dot length and the dot interval also so it looks pretty cool i have kept it dotted then you can change the fill color and the text color of the battery icon i have kept it both white you can change if you want then next is battery bar option you can enable the battery bar above status bar so you can see the battery bar is enabled above status bar you can change the position also it is status bar top of nav bar or bottom of nav bar then you can uh, change the battery bar color then you can change the battery bar alignment and you can change the battery bar thickness if you want you can enable the charging animation also then next is a wi-fi mobile and wi-fi network icon you can enable the network activity icon so it will show the icon for the activity of incoming and outgoing you can change the color for the icon also i have kept it off the next is the network and uh, uh, network traffic you can enable the network traffic monitor if you want i have kept it off it will show the incoming and outgoing data speed then next is the notification and system icons you can enable the colorized notification icon then notification ticker and show the count for notification as you can see i have changed my count icon to red so you can change to any color if you want so it's a cool option to have then next is the brightness control you can enable the brightness control on status bar then you can enable the supervisor indicator whenever it is used so it will show the hash icon then next is the carrier label option you can enable the carrier label so it will show the carrier label on the left hand side of status bar you can change the color for the carrier label then next is the recent option you can enable the clear all button then you can uh, enable to clear all task with the clear all button and you can change the clear all recent button location that is the top right top left top center bottom right bottom left and bottom center i have kept it to bottom center so you can see my clear all button is in bottom center then next is you can enable or disable the search bar in recents then there is another option called omni switch means you can change the way recents uh, app look it, it is disabled by default but you can enable it you have to boot for uh, you to boot uh, your device to make it enable so i can't show you it right now then next is the notification drawer as you can see you can enlarge the first row so it is enlarged now means you can see the first row is enlarged you can make it small also so now it is not enlarged then next is you can change the order of tiles if you want let's just hold it and drag it anywhere you want so the now Wi-Fi tile is changed to second row. So it's a cool option to have. You can add two or two more options also. It is hotspot, 
and color inversion and notification also then next option is vibrant touch you can enable the vibrant touch for tiles then next is advanced location quick settings means you can enable the advanced location quick setting so when you touch on location it will show advanced option here also then next is show brightness slider or disable it the brightness slider is shown by default you can disable it so it is gone now then quick pull down you can enable the quick pull down from right hand side then next is the lock screen option you can disable the lock screen camera option and lock screen dialer option also and you can uh, customize the clock widget on lock screen so you can customize the clock and alarm widget and you can uh, customize the weather panel also then next is the power menu you can customize the power menu you can keep all of this tab you, if you want and you can choose what you want in a, a power menu that is power off, reboot menu, screenshot, screen record, profile switcher, airplane mode, setting shortcut then next is the buttons you can enable the left handed mode when the phone is switched to landscape mode then you can enable the power button as your end call button then you can uh, en enable the volume button to wake up your device or control the playback when you are playing music then next is navigation bar you can change the all drop buttons of navigation by holding it down or moving it then next is you can add another button to navigation bar as you can see the blank button is added to navigation bar so it's a cool feature to have it means you can add up to 5 buttons in the navigation bar so it's good to add the buttons to navigation bar then you can choose the settings of the bar height bar width and you can also select which button you want to add means if I select button this you can enable the custom icon for the button also so it's a good to have it then next is pie control it is the most low feature in the android it is back in android lollipop it is pie control you can enable the pie control then you can change the buttons inside the pie control by moving it up or down as per requirement and change the button style and you can also change the button second layer initially it is on on left hand side of the screen so you can see the pie control is there there are two layers of button then next is gesture anywhere you can enable the gesture for specific app opening and closing I have kept it off but you can keep it on then next is animation you can change the IME animation that is keyboard enter animation and exit animation you can change the duration for the animation also then next is toast animation you can change the toast animation from this option then next is list view animation you can change the list view animation also there are tons of options available for the animation then next is the system animation you can change all the system animation through this customization option you can also change the animation duration also then next is scrolling cage you can enable the scrolling cage or make it disable and you can also modify the scrolling so if you want to modify scrolling you can modify it then next is the app circle bar if you enable the app circle bar you will see the app circle bar on right hand side of screen it's a scrolling bar you can choose which app to be there in this circle bar you can uh, change the width and height of the bar then next is uh, device control it's a good option for developer inside this you can change the cpu setting gpu setting you can enable task run flasher also so if you want you can use it then next is the bliss downloads you can download the latest build by bliss pop ROM. then next is you can download the latest G apps of banks and PA you can download the other kernels provided by bliss and you can download other add-ons by bliss also the next customer can be seen is they have provided the equalizer that is audio effects that's a CM build equalizer so you can use it and the next that is most important thing the themes engine the theme engine is included by the CM 
Now the Blitz Pop ROM is based on the latest build of CM, so it is it has also theme engine. You can change the theme if you want. There are currently very less theme available for the CM12. Another custom function can be seen on the display settings. You can enable disable the ambient display. You can change the timeout of the ambient display. Then you can enable the wake up on charge option. Then you can enable prevent accidental wake up. That is by using proximity sensor. Then you can enable disable the double tap to sleep option. Then you can change the display density. You can enable the screen recorder also. You can disable the immersive mode message if you want and calibrate the color of the screen. Then next is you can change the volume steps if you want for every system volume. And you, you can see there is an expandable volume per the panel inside this. So you can change all the volume, you can control all the value volumes through the panel. So it's a good option to have. Then next is privacy. You can enable the privacy guard for app means you can block any app for uh, for accessing your data and uh, private connections. Then next is blacklist. You can block the unwanted SMS and calls. Then uh, you can enable the stats collection if you want. Then there is system profiles. You can choose system profile from these three option. Now talking about battery life. This ROM has pretty good battery life as it has lots of customization but the battery life is pretty stable. As you can see I have charged my battery on yesterday at 7 pm and it is still going on. It is 11% remaining and my screen on time is around 3 hours 58 minutes. So, so it's a good battery life as compared to customization provided. And I am loving this ROM about the customization and battery life. I will recommend this ROM for you. You must check out this ROM for once. Thank you for watching my video and please subscribe to my Google Plus page, Facebook page and follow me on blog. Thank you.